Hi, Tony Bradshaw with AdSumToYourIncome.com, where I talk about ways to increase your money. Today, I'm going to look at how to land the grant or that scholarship and get the money to help you with what you're trying to do. I'm going to share with you a few personal stories. I'm going to define different kinds of grants and kind of give you a tip about when to apply. Let's dive in. My first personal story comes to my mind about being a scout and approaching the city. Now, I was a very young scout approaching the city. At the time, I had just turned 13, and I was approaching the city to ask for them to pay the money to purchase supplies for my Eagle Scout project. Yes, thanks to my parents, I was an Eagle Scout at the age of 13. They're right, not thanks to me, I didn't just take that on. It, it's also thanks to that I had an older brother who was in Scouts, and my parents had learned with him how to get through the ranks and get the merit badges, what was required at what points. And so I basically did it in the minimum amount of time possible because mostly my mom was a big help in getting me to be an Eagle Scout. But regardless, I still remember standing in front of the city council and making my presentation. My mom made sure I wore my scout uniform and I knew what to say. We practiced it a couple of times before I got there. And then I presented to them and I got to watch how they as an organization made the proposal and then uh, had the discussion and then had the uh, voting and, and they said they would pay for the materials and that feeling of that money is going to cover the materials for the project. I've got my troop to do the work. This is happening. Walking out of there with that feeling of I landed the money. I mentioned I'm going to talk about the kinds of grants. So that grant is based on the organization wanting to support something within their own city. And that is kind of a needs-based, needs for certain projects. And the group has the money, people of the community can present and say, I would like to use funds for XYZ. They have funds available, they approve it. Other grants and scholarships can come based on your financial need, based on your personal skills, your performance, based really on a lot of things. It can, I've seen scholarships that are based on your background. Um, if you are a, a certain um, group of people uh, that qualify and they want to support to continue on, say, with college. And really, you can find lots of grants and scholarships for a, lot, a number of different things. As a teacher, I come across these often, and they seem to kind of just show up like, hi, if you set up a bank account with you, we will help you to fill out a teacher grant, and you could get $500 for something in your classroom. And, you know, that $500 coming from a grant is quite a bit better than it coming from my pocket to accomplish what I want to accomplish in my classroom. And I have received grants like that. I also have received scholarships. I want to share with you kind of my surprise scholarship that I wasn't expecting uh, that kind of just happened without me even knowing that it was coming together. Now, most of the time, you have that deadline, you know when you need to apply for the scholarship or for the grants. Um, there, as you sit down with the financial aid office, which I recommend, especially if you're looking into going to college, how much financial need do you have? Where are you going to get these? Are these going to be grants? save through federal government programs like the Pell Grants? Is this going to be you're going to apply for scholarships? Where can you apply? And what are your skills? What have you been doing? But let me tell you about my surprise one that I'm getting to. The surprise scholarship for me was when I was just finishing my senior year and I went to honors night. And I'd been invited to honors night and I, I knew I wasn't valedictorian because I hadn't had all A's. I'd taken some tough classes. You know, calculus, that's a tough class, right? And I was not valedictorian. But I, I kind of had the sense that I would be getting some type of recognitions, okay. And I went to the honor night. 
Now, to know just a little bit about me in school, uh, while I did love math, did get all the way to calculus, and I've always kind of had a fancy for numbers, which works well with what I'm talking about here in my later degree in economics, I also was involved in the band, in, in jazz band and concert band, and I had tried out for drum major my sophomore year and happened to get the job. Maybe because I was also an Eagle Scout. Anyway, so I'm the drum major. That's the person who leads the band. And like I said, I was never, I would, like I was never first chair trombone to make it clear while I played trombone. But I was the the leader of the band. I was never really anything. Um, I don't know that I thought I would get a scholarship or that I applied for a scholarship. So at honor night, uh, there was someone from the Navy who was there presenting to uh, an award and started talking about the student first. The student was involved in extracurricular activities, the student blah, 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 blah. And it's one of those things, you know, where you're just like, do do do, all right, you know? And then they said my name, uh, okay. And I go down there and mix, you know, big handshake and thanks for being involved in the marching band, way to be. And I'm the Navy, but you know, okay. And I actually turn and start walking back to my seat, and the guy's like, whoa, 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 we're not done yet. <laughs> so I turn back around, I'm like halfway back to my chair, and I'm standing there on the stage, right center stage, and he says, because of your accomplishments, keeping great grades, taking tough classes, being a drum major, being involved in other extracurricular activities, I was in the musical, um, did not sing well, but I was in the musical. Anyway, um, he said, we are awarding you a scholarship to a college of your choice. I had to walk back and reshake his hand and <laughs> take all this. My family laughs at me. Uh, I just laugh at me too now that I think about it. So this surprise scholarship, how did that happen? What is my advice? My advice is to live life live life. And it doesn't mean become valedictorian. It doesn't mean always get A's. There wasn't another scholarship like that one that was handed out at the honors night, which was just like, again, I, I was like, who's this kid? Because it's okay. And then they, <laughs> oh yeah, me. I just lived. And again, didn't do well enough to have the straight A's and the 4.0 and the valedictorian speech. And that was okay for me. I was recognized and handed a scholarship to college of my choice. And it helped me to be able to go to the college of my choice. I mentioned I was going to talk about when to apply to scholarships. This can make or break it. And the timing is noticed. I applied for a scholarship that was due the end of January in December. I got the scholarship. The people communicating with me, without completely saying it, they said that they were impressed with my timeliness. They didn't say, because you applied in December, we're giving you this grant. Um, scholarship. That was a scholarship. When you are timely, and it, it's completed well, not the last minute, it's, it's due at midnight, you turn it in at 11.50 p.m., right? 11.51 p.m., they get an email, they, they, they see where you're at. They may still grant you the scholarship because you made the deadline. Um, so I recommend that you apply in a timely manner early enough. Another one, and this has gotten me a couple of PTA grants, is to apply for the grant right after that year's largest fundraiser. In fact, I have right here a folder uh, with some grant information that I'm putting together to present to the PTA in two weeks. This grant will first go under the nose of the principal next week, and, and she's aware, and she'll be able to sign off as, yep, go ahead and go to the PTA with this. And then I sit down with the PTA in a couple of weeks and they just wrapped up, we just wrapped up, because I'm a member of the PTA, we just wrapped up this year's largest fundraiser. And when I go in with a big ask like this one, which I won't bore you with the details, just know on this that here's the trick, the timing of it. Think about it. If they just got their biggest fundraiser, they've just raised 
thousands of dollars. We just saw the announcement uh, either earlier today or late yesterday. Um, thousands of dollars. Okay, and I'm going to come in there with a big ask, but it's not going to be like so. Their brains, the again, people making the decision about the money, they're going to be like, okay, we just made thousands of dollars, and here is this request. It's looking like the numbers uh, on this could actually get close to a thousand. Right, and if I were to ask this, say at a time when they're right busy with a whole bunch of other things, it might not have gone so great. And it, it, they could still say no, or partly fund it, or say you know matching dollars. I just have found um, when I've made this request right after that year's largest fundraiser, the PTA has approved a couple thousand dollars once, and I'm feeling really great about this one, the way that it's coming together. And so it's a timing thing. When to apply could really change whether or not you're going to land the scholarship or you're going to land the grant and get the money, which sometimes you have to kind of think around this is adding to my income because I'm not having to pull out of my pocket to buy supplies for my classroom or whatever it is that you're going for. I'd love to hear how it goes for you. Feel free to comment below. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like other ideas on ways to add some to your income. And I look forward to seeing you on the other side.